Hey, it's Teresa from Life Beyond Diabetes. And today we're talking about bariatric surgery, which is more commonly known as weight loss surgery. And um, I'll try and remember to call it weight loss surgery. And my dog is behind me, but not acting very polite. So let's see if we can make her act polite. Anyway, this is Charlie, by the way. She likes to hang out very near me. Anyway, um, weight loss surgery can have a profound effect on type 2 diabetes, particularly if it is performed early on in type 2 diabetes. So what um, what we know about um, weight loss surgery and type 2 diabetes, and by weight loss surgery, I'm talking about the two main surgeries that are performed in the U.S. now, which are um, Ruin Y gastric bypass surgery, so that's generally called gastric bypass, and also the vertical sleeve, which is frequently just called a sleeve. Both of those surgeries have um, profound um, impact on type 2 diabetes and prediabetes. And what they do is that is they can actually, so some people call it reversing di diabetes, but actually what they do is they put diabetes into remission. And now I should be clear, we're talking about type 2 diabetes. Because what they do is that they stop insulin resistance. We're not really clear scientifically what the mechanism of that is and how that works. We do know that it stops um, insulin resistance. We also know that this is a temporary situation. It doesn't stop insulin resistance and diabetes forever. We do know that it is a remission and that eventually most, if not all people who have um, type two diabetes and, and um, go into remission via their um, bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery will get their diabetes back at some point. However, even if they're going to get their diabetes back, it's worth considering this as a tool in the toolbox because um, the longer you can go without diabetes, the fewer complications downstream. So the longer that you can put off um, the, the high blood sugars and the problem, the complications of diabetes, the longer you are likely to have a long and healthy life free of the complications of diabetes. So um, just quickly, I wanna say a couple qualifications for, um, for weight loss surgery. Um, for people with diabetes, um, usually the, um, the cutoff is a BMI of 35 or higher. Without diabetes or another weight-related complication, the cutoff is generally a BMI of 40. Now, sometimes that can be changed, that can be a little bit different depending on what the reasons for the surgery might be, but, um, you know, and, and I know that I've talked a lot about how um, BMI is an arbitrary cutoff, it's an arbitrary number. However, for insurance purposes and for um, um, medical requirements, usually they're pretty strict about looking at that BMI as the cutoff number. Um, if you have any questions about weight loss surgery and its impact on diabetes, definitely drop me a comment. Um, I will probably be talking about this at some point further in more detail. I think it's fascinating the impact that this surgery has not only on weight loss, but on um, diabetes. And I will say that the impact is immediate, that following surgery, um, when I was a floor nurse, floor nurse, I was amazed to see that people would come out of their surgery and the very next day they might have gone in needing insulin and the very next day they did not need insulin. And it was mind boggling as a new nurse to be wondering why in the world am I not giving these patients insulin anymore? And that was the effect of the surgery. So it is something to consider if you have a BMI higher than 35 and you have type two diabetes, definitely something that you might wanna to talk to your provider about. Um, and I will say it is not an easy way out also, but that's something for another day to talk about how um, weight loss surgery is a huge commitment, but it is for a lot of people a very worthwhile commitment and something to consider as you're looking at this lifelong journey with type two diabetes. Now, I know that I'd come to you a little bit earlier today than planned, but again, my friend's in town, so we're off to spend the rest of this day enjoying each other's company. Um, so I hope you have a lovely weekend. Tomorrow we'll be back to recap a couple of things from this week, and I'll talk to you about what I'm planning to talk about this coming week um, as we head into Thanksgiving. So.
Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.